Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Northumberland Zoo on YouTube. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Maxie and I'm the curator here at the zoo. Um, Happy New Year! Goodness me, another year. I just don't know where the time goes. Uh, another exciting year with exciting plans for us here at the zoo. Um, we we'll hope that you tune in for the journey. So this week um, I wanted to show you guys the app. Now some of you might have downloaded it already and you might already be using it and some of you might not even know we have an app. Well, we do. We have a super cool app and it's available on the App Store, on uh, Google Play and also the App Galleries as well. So anywhere you need to download apps from, you can get it and it's free. But it has loads of super cool benefits. Um, so let's take a look. First of all, as soon as you've logged in, make sure that if you have bought your tickets on DigiTickets that you use the exact same email address when you actually sign up to the app. So what it does is it marries up your data. So if you've bought tickets through DigiTickets, you want to make sure that the app knows that you've done that. So when you do do that, the tickets automatically appear within your app wallet. So use the same email address. And when you first open it up, you obviously have a navigational screen there. Uh, so it has a typical little zoom out there. You can actually see all of our little animals highlighted in all of our facilities as well. You can use that to kind of see where you're going around the zoo. And as you scroll down, you've got your events panel and in the events section, it'll show you what's on today. So that'll show you what walkthroughs we've got on, but also what talks we've got on as well. So Snow Leopard talks on at 12 o'clock. Um, and if you're interested in going, you just need to tap the little uh, golden star there. And what it'll do is it'll put that in your planner. And about five minutes before that talk starts, it'll send you a little reminder saying, just to let you know, Snow Leopard talk is starting soon. So here we go. It's in my little event planner there. And it'll remind me about five minutes before the event starts that the Snow Leopard talk is about to begin. So I won't miss it. Um, and then after the talk is finished, it'll send you a little thing saying, did you enjoy the talk? Uh, just hit yes or no. And all that feedback really helps us out here at the zoo when we're planning talks and trying to learn, you know, what can we do to make your experience even better? So those are some of the basic functionalities of the app is uh, planning your day, mapping your routes. Um, obviously, the most important thing about the zoo is the animals. So we have a whole explore section which shows you all of the different animals here at the zoo and what's really cool is it gives you extra information than what you can actually get at the zoo from the zoo signage so we're able to put on um, some really cool stuff so for example when you go into the raccoon page there's actually a list of each individual raccoon on there so you can learn all the raccoons by their names when roughly they were born, what's their favorite thing, who do they hang out with, and you can actually look at all the little identifying pictures of each individual raccoon between Ralph, Edna, Misha, Tommy, and Timmy, and see if you can actually spot those differences when you visit the zoo. And same goes for our Arctic foxes, for the snow leopards, for all kinds of animals. We've got the individual animals listed on the app if you want to actually see who is who and what is what. So there's loads of great information there for you. Then, if you want to test your knowledge, there's some great educational parts of this. So if you go under, for example, Snow Leopard, um, we have got some quizzes set up and they're multiple choice quizzes. Um, some of them can be a little bit tricky. Uh, so it's not just for kids. Uh, you can go in and you can answer multiple choice questions. And if you get the answer right, you get a little, uh, little fireworks go off and it's dead exciting. So test your knowledge on snow leopards, see if you know uh, what it takes to be a snow leopard genius. Um, but there's lots of different animals that have uh, quizzes attached to them. And this is all trying to make learning a bit more fun. You know, it, it's, it's a little bit, a little bit old school going to a zoo and just having signs everywhere and because every zoo has the same thing. So, you know, you just want to try and we are trying to think of a way that we can help this industry and also reach out to people and reach them on a different level and educate people and inspire them about animals. Something else to look out for when you're looking at your individual animal section is the adopters names. We've actually started putting all the adopters names on the actual animal itself so that people can log in and see their adoption at any time. And if there's anything in particular happening that day, uh, for example, if one of the animals is at the vets or if one of the animals not feeling too well, we can just pop a little keeper note on that animal that'll be straight up to date information. So you can just check on it and say, all right, that's the reason why the Arctic Fox is limping or whatever. It's just a great way of us being able to communicate 
with you. Now, one of the massive benefits of the app is having all the vouchers. So we've actually got this whole entire wallet section that's built into the app. So when you log in with your same email address that you have used on our website to buy the Digi Tickets online tickets, it actually then pulls your tickets over into the wallet and it has them all pre-populated in your wallet for you. And those will tell you when they're valid till and um, it has your booking reference number there as well. And all you need to do is show that at the entrance when you come to the zoo and that will be good to go. You, you'll be good to go to get in. So it has your general admission tickets, but it also has your membership as well. So if you're a member, you can hold your membership card in here and it keeps that information for you. And it'll tell you when your membership's running out and it'll automatically contact you when your membership is due for renewal. But the other really cool thing about being a member is you get access to exclusive content on the app. So you'll have access to content first, but also you'll have access to content that no one else will have. So it's quite cool being a member on the app. And then there's also the voucher section. Within the vouchers, we put in all kinds of offers. So offers on admission at the moment, we've got 25% off um, until the 8th of January. Um, there's some money off of calendars. There's a coffee and cake deal in the cafe. We've had uh, offers off of encounters and stuff. So if you've got the app, it's beneficial to have it. There's a whole news section in the app where you can actually see all of our up-to-date social media news, but also all about our conservation projects and just general things that are happening at the zoo. So you're right up to date when you've got the app. Now, for a limited time only, if you've got the app downloaded on your phone, you have exclusive access to Snow Leopard Encounter booking. So if you are wanting to book an encounter with a Snow Leopard in 2023, you do need to have the app to download it. Something that's super cool and fun about the app as well is the photo frames. So we've designed this entire capture your day section where you can put a little photo frame on the picture and there you go, there I am with a bat and uh, that's quite uh, that's quite cool or you can take a safe snow leopard selfie so here we go I'm gonna make an attempt because obviously nobody wants to go in with them and try and take a picture with them so uh, you can try and uh, you can grab a little photograph of yourself and a snow leopard there's also some other photo frames with uh, capybara and also meerkats as well but um, so there's lots of cool stuff and what's really exciting is at the minute we are working on a 24-hour webcam service and we've just built a partnership with zoolife.tv who do an international zoo webcam service and you can log on to them with a little subscription you can get access to all these different live webcams around the world and our snow leopards and our raccoons are going to be joining that service so what we're going to do is we're actually going to get the webcam integrated into our app so when you log into the app you'll be able to tune in and see exactly what's happening with the snow leopards right now, which is so exciting. So yeah, if you haven't got the app already, then I do recommend that you head over to the app store and you download it and have it as your ultimate companion to visit the zoo this year, uh, start off the year right. Um, like I say, it's dead easy. It's on all of the app download stores and why don't you do a little bit of research before you come along to the zoo and you can learn all about the animals that we have at the zoo and learn some of their names before you get here as well. But do bear in mind that the app is brand new. Um, we're still working on it and we're still creating more improvements and we're still adding a lot more developments to it as well. We do our best to check everything on the app to make sure that it is accurate and it's working properly. But if you find a bug that we don't, then please do let us know um, because we're keen to get it spot on. Now, some of you have been with us from the beginning, from when we were Happy Chicken Farm, then Esher Chief Animal Park, and now, of course, Northumberland Zoo. But now what we're gonna start doing every week on our YouTube videos is featuring a different historical photo of the week. And this week, it is... This photo was taken outside of our old tea room, and this was back when we had no developments whatsoever. You can see in the distance is the big ash tree that's down by the snow leopards, but the old polytunnel, which is where we used to create a lot of veg for the animals, has now been replaced by our bat house. So if you remember this, then do let us know in the comments. Well, I hope you found that useful learning all about our Northumberland Zoo app and I really appreciate you guys tuning in. If you haven't done already, please do like this video and subscribe to our channel and drop any comments below or any questions you have about the app and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Uh, do be sure to tune in next week because we are going to be looking at our new domestic area development. Some of you who may have been to the zoo recently noticed that we've done a lot of work over on our paddocks area. Uh, over by the deer and where the horses normally hang out and that's because we want to revamp that whole area. The video is going to be all about farm animals so that includes Dozer and the goats and all of the amazing donkeys and horses uh, so do be sure to tune in but until then thank you very much and see you then.